it's Pastor Bim TV and we're dealing with the third part of the message titled Thanking God. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. We will never cease to thank God. Our lips will continually praise Him. At the cows of our lips will give him glory. He's a good God. He's beautiful, beyond description, marvelous for us to describe. He has been so good to us. And the Bible enjoins us that give him thanks, praise him, adore him. Hallelujah. I'm reading Psalm 136. He says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercies endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercies endure. His mercy keeps us. His mercy provides for us. His mercy upholds us. His mercy shelters us. His mercy protects us from even things that we, 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 we subject ourselves to unknowingly. He still takes us and uh, preserves us. He's a faithful God. Verse 4 says that to him who alone does great wonders, for his mercies endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heaven, for his mercies endures forever. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. Verse 6 says that to him who laid the heart above the waters, for his mercies endures forever. To him who made great light, for his mercies endures forever. Hallelujah. Verse 8 says, the sun to rule by day, for his mercies endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercies endures forever. Ever faithful, ever sure, for his mercies they endure. Ever faithful, ever sure. He's a faithful God, he's a generous God. Let your lips always thank him, because your sleeping and your waking up is his doing. Putting food on your table is his doing. Giving you beautiful life, the life that is worth living, is his doing. Not by power, not by might. Because he has created all things for you to enjoy. The Bible says that he has given us life abundantly, life to the full. He's a generous God. He wants us to continue to give him thanks because as we thank him, he, it's a sign of gratitude. Because our gratitude to God, it, it goes a long way because he knows that you recognize his faithfulness. Give it recognition whenever you are going through diverse situations. Remember the things of old, things he has done, things that he has lavished you with, things that he has catered for without you making an effort. He deserves our praise, all our praise, the Bible say, in any situation. So I say thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, our soul has found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, oh we give you thanks. You may be in a valley situation right now. I assure you that you can look forward to a mountain situation because the Bible lets us know that in this world there shall be tribulation, but be of good cheers that have overcome the world. You can thank Him ahead. You can be proactive to thank Him. You can give Him thanks generously. Lavish Him. The Bible lets us know that David lavished Him with praise. Even that he was not even conscious that the clothes were falling off his body. He danced generously. He showed God gratitude generously. And God blessed him. He cursed those who, who, who despised him. Why don't you touch the heart of God with the heart of gratitude? Because your gratitude would mean your attitude. God wants to do much more. But let's give that encouragement. Let's show that we appreciate him. Let's show that we do not take things for granted. For his mercies they endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Given the praise he deserves, his mercies they endure. Joy is coming again, but start to praise him now. And for the things he have done, you, my sister, my brother, who is also celebrating, 
your best is not good enough let's just thank him and thank him and thank him because there is none like him we appreciate you lord thanks for your love for us thank you for watching don't stop thanking god <laughs>